Here in this video, I will discuss about speed, distance and time, right? First thing first, I want to share one thing with the students that the sums of these chapters are very easy and you can do, right? Be confident, these sums are very simple. As you can see in the diagram that I have uh, drawn to just keep in your memory the formula of the speed, distance and time, okay? I created this triangle, right? So if I write d here distance d for distance s for speed t for time okay you can see the image then very easily it can be written that distance equal to s into t speed and time has multiply relation right and this distance and speed has divide relation okay that means if i take this t as constant then simply you can write d by s here, right? Distance by speed. Similarly, if I take at the left side is speed, so simply you can write d by t, d by t. It is very simple to keep the formula in the memory with this, with the help of this triangle, right? If you want to um, convert the speed which are mentioned in kilometer per hour, right? Kilometer per hour, it is also written as this kmph. Okay, don't confuse bit among uh, between these two, right? It may be also in the smaller unit like meter per second or mps, but usually practically the uh, sums are uh, given with kilometer per hour or mile per hour it is also written that mph why because these two units are very practical units in case of the vehicles okay whenever we say that this train runs with 100 kilometer per hour so it is very logical because the speed of the train is a bigger unit that's why we uh, state this uh, we express the speed unit in kilometer per hour right and not in meter per second but you will see in the sum of the mathematics that you will be confused with the with the help of the unit it is more important uh, while dealing the sums of the distance speed and time because the sums remains very easy you will be confused with the help of the train and platform aeroplanes and wind like this suppose in a sum it is given that the speed of the train or speed of the bus or speed of the aeroplane is 36 km per hour okay and it is given that the train is crossing a platform of 200 meter length okay so find the time uh, in which the train crosses the platform in second maybe it is asking in the second okay so what will you do you have to convert the kilometer per hour unit into meter per uh, per second why the unit of length here is meter and here is kilometer okay this is the point where students are confused okay with their different unit in this type of the problem okay if you want to convert kilometer per hour keep in mind many student know all this also okay what will you have to do you want to convert into meter per second okay as you can see also in the image here uh, you have to multiply by 5 by 18 right when you are um, converting kilometer per hour into meter per second okay or if you are converting try want to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour so 
again you multiply by just inverting the above factor okay as the logic has been changed therefore the numerator and denominator has to be changed here is it clear so i uh, advise you just you keep one thing kilometer per hour into meter per second and you delete this one okay you keep in mind that when i will convert meter per second into kilometer per hour i will invert the ratio here factor okay only uh, keep in memory this formula and many students are acquainted with this right so how will you convert it suppose 36 kilometer per hour speed can be easily converted equal to 36 into 5 by 18 meter per second simply it is 10 meter per second okay next the type of the sums are given uh, which the students feels uh, a problem are relative speed okay because here is the point where uh, the examination questions examination questions confuses students by manipulating various type of the example for what suppose there is a telegraph post here okay and a train is crossing the telegraph post right the length of the train is given that 200 meter so find the time during which the train crosses the telegraph post okay and it is given that the speed of the train is 36 km per hour okay so there are two things two three things which you have to point out the distance here will be length of the train okay length of the train keep in mind okay because the telegraph point is a point object okay that means the distance is moving here and the relativity with which we have to compare is a point is it clear now second confusion point here is given that the unit is given i am just making it clear it is given 36 km per hour and the length of the train is in meter so you have to convert this 36 km per hour into meter per second that means 36 into 5 by 18 meter per second okay so it is very simple time equal to d by s we can find it second uh, it is also the relativity uh, sum of the uh, relative speed so but there is a platform here it is given you can see also in this image watch the image carefully and a train is just about to cross the platform this is the train and this is the platform right so be clear about this here the suppose length of the train is l1 and length of the platform is l2 then complete total distance will be l1 plus l2 here is the first point which the sum want to confuse you right and it is given also second point the length of the platform will be generally given in meter suppose it is in a 500 meter and the speed of the train is uh, given that uh, 136 km per hour like this okay so second you have to convert the unit of speed okay into meter per second right so it is it will be given that find the uh, time in which the train crosses the platform or it will be written that if a train crosses a 500 meter platform in 15 second then find the length of the train the speed of the train is given like this okay i think uh, it is clear second second now the third type of it is very dangerous okay there are two trains it is also the case of the relative speed here train number a and train number b okay these two trains are standing at the same station that means suppose it is at new delhi okay just i am giving for example or it is at the new york maybe suppose it is telling that the train a and train b 
are standing at the New Delhi railway station and train A left the station at 10 am train B left the New Delhi station at 11.30 am ok the speed of the train B suppose it is given 70 km per hour and the speed of the train will is 50 km per hour ok so find the time at which the train B will cross the train A right be clear what I am telling find the time uh, find the time at which that means am pm whatever may be when the second train that means the train B just cross over the train A or overtake the train A ok so one very important point you have to keep in mind that whenever the train B will cross the train overtake the train A at that time the distance from the New Delhi of that point will be equal ok suppose it is New Delhi and the trains are uh, going to Havla or Kolkata and here is the point where train B is overtaking train A so you have to find out the distance in both the case for train A and for train B and equate those things huh, uh, to find out the time that means period of time after that you just add the time huh, when in 11 13 then you can easily for example I just giving the tips about this sum suppose train B crosses in T hour ok here is the funda so so 70 into T equal to 50 into T plus I think clear because the train this is the distance covered by train A and this is the distance covered by train B ok so the train A started one and half hour ahead ok so it will take to cover the same distance to cover the same distance the train B uh, the train A will take more time ok because it started already at 10 am and the second train started after one and half hour ok this is the point where the sum want to confuse you ok very simply you can find the t and this t is the time period when the B train B is crossing overtaking the train A just add this time period suppose it is 2 hour ok it become 2 hour you calculated at you find that T equal to 2 hour ok so simply you add 11.30 plus 2 what it become 13 that means it become uh, sorry 1.3 pm ok because it is it is crossed uh, 12 right second I will uh, discuss the sum uh, of relative speed in same direction ok same direction like this and this and opposite direction okay opposite direction